Hey friends, how is everybody doing today? Look at, I've got stuff all over my table. I should have wiped it off before I did this. But my dehydrator's been going. I didn't do it on the floor. Ha! It looks like I brushed it on the floor. I didn't brush it on the floor. It's sitting there in a neat little pile. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, I've been busy. That's why you haven't seen many videos the last few days. My husband was home. He got home Friday. So he left this morning. He got home Friday evening. So he got three full days off. So he left this morning. And um, he could have left last night, but he don't, he's not one to drive at midnight. He don't. He's over that. Anyway, he gets up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Every morning. So, you know, he, he's tired. 7, 8 o'clock, he's in bed. Mmm, I'm having a well-deserved cup of tea. There's so much going on. I don't know. First thing is, I don't know if I told you, but um, we, of course, had to file an insurance claim on our roof because we had so much damage from the ice and the snow last winter. And it was approved and everything, not a problem. So the gentleman, the contractor that I hired for it, just started doing the roof yesterday so i've been busy out there you know watching it and they knocked the chimney off the roof that was the first thing he did and i know that wasn't counted in with the um contract but i asked him i'll pay you extra just get rid of it you know take it down just below the roof level and i've got all the bricks saved i know he his uh worker that he had put quite a few of the bricks in his trailer to go to the dump so i've been little by little i've been pulling them out of there because i want to use them for raised beds how awesome you know they make good borders or raised beds so i'm saving them and there's quite a few of them you know so that's good the roof is getting done. I don't know how long it's going to take them because, you know, we didn't have any rain. No rain. No rain in sight for the next two weeks. Nothing. But you want to know something? As soon as they start fixing the roof, we've had nothing but rain since. It's thundering out right now. It's like we're under severe storm uh, warning or watch or something. Well, it's, it's here. We're having a... A hellacious storm so and of course isn't that how it works you know you got to do something outside or you got to tear off your roof and replace it and it rains never fails and our nights have been getting very cold what is with the weather lately I'm telling you it's like it's August I mean all of August I know it's nearly September now but even in the beginning of August it was like September, and it's like, this is the craziest weather. Our weather, the other morning I got up, it was only like 48 degrees, and granted, our daytime gets warm, you know, our normal. It's been a really hot summer for us, above average, but on our normal is usually right around 70, 80 degrees. So right now, which would normally be our hottest month, it's, you know, 70, 80 degrees at night or during the day and then dips down to the 40s at night. So it's been pretty chilly. And, uh, oh my gosh, what else is going on? Yeah, I haven't done a whole lot. All nine chicks, nine chicks, all nine hens are laying now. They're doing pretty good without Rocky and I've been keeping them entertained and Boy, they've been eating a lot of stuff because I've been giving them some excess that I have in the uh, from the garden. That's my phone going off. That's a warning. I'll be right back. Okay. My phone was beeping because we're under severe warning. Severe thunderstorm warning. Severe weather. Anyway... Don't worry about tornadoes. We, they always say, oh, can't rule out a tornado. We don't get tornadoes up here. High winds, maybe, you know, gusty winds. But I think in my 53 years, and I've lived here all my life, we've probably had 
that I remember or I know of is maybe one or two tornadoes. And, I, you know, I wouldn't even consider them a tornado. Can you hear the thunder? I love that. I'll sleep like a baby tonight. I sleep good in a storm. I don't know about you guys, but I can sleep. That's the best sleep I get is when it's storming. Anyway, so where was I at with the roof? Yes, I don't know how long they're going to take to get it done. Please forgive me. I look like the wreck of the Hespis, and I am so sorry. I've been so busy today, and I've got this horrible allergy headache on the side of my head. It's not, you know, it's not to where I can't do anything. It's just there, and it's aggravating. And uh, I know it's from the barometric pressure. I'm positive. Anyway, so my husband was home this weekend. We had a ball. We had a lovely, lovely weekend. And uh, we got his fridge all packed up. I did, um, I sent him with the, I do got two videos coming up. The one was how I do my hamburger patties and freeze them and stuff. And the other is um, crispy fried chicken for the freezer. Anyway, so I packed up his fridge. We went to Myers and got his few groceries. And, of course, nothing that I got him was on sale. I think that's the first time in probably four years or five years that I've actually gone to the store and not one thing in my cart was on sale. But it's the stuff he needed for his fridge that I really didn't have here at home. So, anyway, I packed his sandwiches. I got eight sandwiches. I got eight uh, burger patties because this time around he said all he wants is burgers. And I've got eight, I got eight things of uh, mashed potatoes in his truck. Now he's usually only gone 11 days. So I told him, I said, eating out, if you want to eat at a buffet or whatever. And he's like, no, I don't want to eat at a buffet. That's all I need, you know. So with that, we got him some of the, he loves the um, smoked sausages. So we got him some smoked sausage, and but his refrigerator is packed. I did hard-boiled eggs for him because he likes that. I packed it with fruit. He loves the nectarines. I got him cheeses. Um, he's got some lunch meats for sandwiches. He's got regular dinners that he can just heat up, and we could not find a microwave, so I sent him with the one at the house because I very seldom use it. And if I do, it might be to melt some butter real quick, but... You know, other than that, I, I don't use it. I said, instead of wasting our money buying one, let's take this one. I hope our electricity doesn't go out. Anyway, with that, he's got the fridge that he fit in there. He's got that. And then my friend Wanda gave him a little George Foreman grill. So he'll be able to um, fry his patties up. Otherwise, I would have probably pre-fried them, and then he could have just, you know, heated them up in the microwave. But this way, it's fresh, and it's that's nice. So he's got that, and he's got bread. He's got everything he needs, the little salt and pepper, his condiments. He's all set, and uh, he's happy. So, perfect. That refrigerator fit in his truck just perfectly, and... I packed it full, so he he'll be he'll be set and watch watch. I can't wait to see because he can spend about twenty five bucks a day eating out, you know, between a breakfast, you know, a breakfast sandwich or whatever, and then dinner. It's easy twenty five bucks if not more. I mean, it's it doesn't it adds up fast. So if he saves that twenty five dollars a day. Or even even out of the eleven days, if he saves it the eight days, that's two hundred bucks. And the refrigerator was only a hundred and twenty, so it literally could pay for itself in a week. But not yet this week because you got to add the initial groceries. We spent a hundred and twenty-four dollars on the initial groceries, and probably he's got a month's worth of other stuff, you know, because he did get um, some crackers and stuff to go with his cheese but anyway he's all set and that refrigerator is going to pay for itself inside of a month and I'm glad because now I can send him with good foods and healthy foods and keep my hubby healthy 
and then I'm sure there's some of you out there. I know there's a couple of you that have husbands who also drive semi. You can get those refrigerators. They're just small, 2.5 cubic foot fridge. It packs enough for two weeks, you know, two weeks of meals. So, oh, it's lightning. It's going to crash in just a second. I'm waiting for it. That usually, there it goes. That usually means my internet's going to go out. And sometimes when it's that bad, we lose power. But usually not for very long. Anyway, my, my camera's charged up so I can finish the chit-chat. So with that, he's all set with his fridge. He's off and he's running. He's already in Indiana. Um, I've been dehydrating stuff like crazy all weekend long. Both my dehydrators have been going on overtime. But I did get a lot of the squash. Now, you know what? I got to be honest with you. I put a lot of stuff out by the road that was fresh. And we made a sign for fresh produce. And you see in the stand, it was nice looking. I had fresh green beans. Everything was fresh. No, no older than two days. Nothing sold. Nobody stopped. And I'm thinking, what the heck is going on? Fresh produce out there? You think people would, you know, be all excited for that. Well, I discovered what the problem was. It wasn't that they don't want to buy any fresh veggies or they know that I, you know, if they don't sell, I'll give them away. Brother and Days, which is the next town over from us, they were having their brother, their celebration, the, or was it Bear Lake? Bear Lake or Brother and Days was having their celebration. So that's why everybody was there. That's why the town was dead. But that's okay because I took everything off that stand. I chopped it up, I dehydrated it, I blanched some of it, I froze some of it. Oh my goodness. I put together, um, oh, let's see, squash, some yellow squash, onions, and green beans. And I made like a mixed uh, vegetable. I blanched them all and made a mixed vegetable blend. And that I'm going to save for my mom because she loves that blend for her, to add to her soups. And we did hit a yard sale. I love yard sales, and I haven't gone to very many this summer. But we did hit one on the way home, and lo and behold, I kept telling my husband we need to get a high chair because we got little Alaric, the, our little grandson, and uh, that's my husband's daughter's son. And we got Cece, my daughter's little girl. So we needed a high chair. Well, Cece's not quite old enough, but little Alaric is. Well, we found one for 10 bucks at a yard sale, and it is beautiful. It looks like brand new. I really couldn't believe it, and uh, it very well maintained. The, the gal that I got it from at her yard sale, she said she, it's been through three or four of her grandchildren, and she says I took really good care of it, and it's quite obvious because it looks brand new. So we got it, brought it home. I, you know, sanitized it, bleached it all down, washed all the cushion on it, and... It's sitting out in the living room. <laughs> oh, well. It's the only place I can fit it right now, and it'll do. So we got that. And then I had another company this weekend. I, you know, I wasn't sure what, what was going to go on with that. Because a lot of times companies will reach out to those of us who do, you know, the YouTube videos. And they'll want to, you to do a review. Well, sometimes, you see my lights flickering? I don't know what's wrong with that light. Anyway, sometimes you'll actually get a product to do a review on, and then sometimes you never do. Well, I just did a review on that Sung Life vacuum sealer. Well, I got another one. It's not Sung Life. It's, um, I don't know the name of it offhand. It's sitting up there on my stand. So... This one is even smaller than the other one, so I'm really curious to do, or anxious to do uh, the uh, review on it. And I'm curious to see how it works, because this one, you could almost tuck in your purse. It's so small. And it'd be, if that works, it's perfect for people that travel or people that live in the small houses or, you know, it's great. I'm excited to do it. And with that, I had another gal from a company reach out to me. 
again, I'm sorry, I don't know the company name, but she wanted to send me dishes, a set of dishes that I can use in my videos. And uh, that way I can, you know, um, they're not paying me to do it, but you know, it's, it's kind of like, oh, you know what, you can use these dishes, we'll send you these dishes and free of charge and you use them in your videos and just write in your description box where your dishes come from. Perfect. I don't got to do a review on them. I'm just going to present them in my videos. And they're beautiful. I got them in their rectangle. They're long and they're, they're just plain white. Just as pretty as they can be. And you could put all kinds of food on there and it would really show up your food. Plus the dish is pretty. And it's pouring so hard I'm surprised you can't hear it. But you can still, earlier, it was hilarious. I'm looking out the window, and it's just a torrential downpour of rain, but the sun is still shining. It's like, go figure. That is the craziest thing ever to see. So I'm going to start using those plates in my videos. I, I'm, I'm excited to see because I think it'll make you. All I can think of is a beautiful steak and a baked potato on that plate, how pretty it would be. Or a piece, a nice piece of grilled um, salmon and a salad. Just gorgeous. I mean, it would even work, uh, it would make a bologna sandwich look good. So I'm excited to see how those, how those work on there. And what else was there? There was a few things I wanted to tell you. Yes, I didn't do too many videos. I think I only got two videos coming beside of this one because I was just busy running hell west and crooked this weekend trying to get my husband's fridge put together and doing the last minute you know prep for it so and I didn't have any kids today so I was able to get my house all cleaned up get my floors mopped get all ready for what I call round two because <laughs> all my grandbabies will be here tomorrow And the people will be here to work on the roof again tomorrow. So, you know, part of the roof, the shingles are tore off. Yes, it's tarped. Well, I don't even know if it's tarped. I think they got that, um, not rolled roofing, but um, I don't want to call it ice and water shield because that's what goes on the end. But they got something up there. And it's like, oh boy, I hope it doesn't rain too hard because it'll seep in all the cracks and leak into my attic. And that always makes a mess. So anyway, but I think that'll go good. I just want to make sure I get all the bricks out of there before he gets any more uh, um, shingles thrown on top of them. Because then I, I can't do it after that. I'm having a nice cup of tea. And boy, I gotta take another drink. It sure does taste good. It's like I can finally sit down and take a breath. <laughs> you get so busy. But that's about it that's going on. Not much more. I got um, a few videos coming up. Right now, I, I know a lot of people are doing all their canning. Oh, and this weekend I also... The beans, you know, when you pick beans after, even by the end of the day, they start looking a little bit wilty and whatever. Well, you just throw them in a big pan of water and, you know, put them in some cold water and it just beefs them back up. It brings them back to life. Well, I wound up snipping them this weekend and I canned up seven quarts of them. I think I got some over here. Maybe. They turned out pretty good. Now, I don't understand one thing. I had some siphoning, and I don't understand why, except I do know my, my canner. They used to make the lid or the rings for your canner, you know, the rubber gasket, thicker. My, my canner is from the early 70s, so it had that big, thick gasket in there. Well, now those gaskets are about half the thickness, and it doesn't always seal right. And for some reason, when I get it going and I find that it's not going to seal and the steam is spewing out the side, I get so doggone mad, first off, that at that. But I have to stop it, 
and restart it. Sometimes I have to put a little olive oil on the gasket. But when that happens, I tend to lose liquid. I get siphoning. And you can see that I got some liquid gone. So even though I still got some from 2018, these ones over here from 2018, 2017, are full of liquid. I'll make sure that I use these seven first because after a while, though it doesn't hurt the food, it still is edible, but when there's no liquid up there, it tends to get wrinkly and discolored. And even though it's still safe to eat, it just doesn't look attractive. So I'll make sure I use these first and then uh, I'll start using the other ones. But that's, that's my canner, and I need to break down and buy a, buy a new one. And it's not that I can't afford to buy a new one. I just don't like the aluminum ones. I don't like aluminum. I like my big old heavy stainless steel. And I've bought parts for it. I've bought jigglers for it. I've gone through three rings or three uh, gaskets already. And I just wish to God that they would make the gaskets the same as what they did years ago. But nothing, have you noticed nothing is the same quality as it was years ago? I mean, look at your duct tape. It's so thin now. If it was any thinner, it would be like scotch tape. And you notice it in your aluminum foil. Unless you buy the heavy duty aluminum foil, you get this thin stuff that it's like tissue paper. I get so upset with that. It, the price of stuff has gone through the roof and the quality has gone to the dogs. I, I just get so mad. I also got from that yard sale, I got some more um, Tupperware containers. Now they're old, so I'm quite sure they're not BPA free but I'm not going to store food in them. I'm going to store like my Epsom salt in there for my garden and um, <coughs> I might store my tea bags in one of them, but my tea bags are pre-wrapped. So, you know, anything that's got a package I could store in there. I don't know, but yeah, I do buy the old Tupperware. I love the old Tupperware, but granted, somebody had asked me about it. No, you know what? It's not BPA free, not the old Tupperware. But it's still, I love the vintage Tupperware. And it's good for storing non-food items. I have one that I, I store my crochet needles and, you know, my little, um, little sewing kit. Whatever. I store some in there. I got one that's got my real silver silverware. Because my mom gave me this beautiful silverware. And it's real silver. Gorgeous. I cannot eat off silver. I don't know if any of you have ever had a real silver fork. It just tastes horrible. I can't eat off that. So uh, I got the uh, uh, stainless silverware and I put that up while I store it in a Tupperware container. So anyway, with all that being said, there's not, you know, anything much going on today. I had a, a nice quiet day and it, f it felt good, you know, I, it only takes me, well my house is always immaculate so it only took me about an hour and a half to dust and vacuum and mop my floors and because I got all wood floors through my house and just big throw rugs put down. So I just vacuumed my rugs and I got a little, f a little floor vac to do my floors. I already got my laundry done. I only had like, what, maybe three loads of laundry all week. Because it's just me normally. My husband gone. So I got all of it done inside of three hours. And it's done for the week. So that makes it nice. And then when my grandbabies come, my house still don't get messy. It, they play with toys. They'll have toys strewed from one end of my house to the other. And especially their, uh, they love the, um, what are they called? Legos. They love them. They'll be strewn. It's like walking on marbles. Oh my land. But they'll be all over my house. And uh, 
There's a cricket in my kitchen floor. A cricket. And you know what? He's going to start cricketing at midnight tonight. He just went underneath my refrigerator. I'll get him. My refrigerator's on wheels. I can pull it out and smack him. But they'll have toys strewn from one end of my house to the other. But you know what? Before they leave, they pick everything up. They're so good. They pick it all up and they put it away. And not only do they pick it up and put it away, they put it away where it belongs. So I'm happy about that. And then 20 minutes after they're gone, you wouldn't even know they were ever here. So the only thing they can do is tear the heck out of my bed because they all love my great big bed. Nana, we want to take a nap in your bed. We want to take a nap in your bed. And then, you know, my bed's all tore up. And that's all right. I love my grandbabies. They could tear up my house and I still love my grandbabies. We just have to clean it. So it's getting pretty dark pretty quick. And it's still thundering out rumbling and lightning but anyway with that I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna enjoy my tea and I got a couple of videos that I have to finish editing and then I'm just gonna relax the rest of the evening and get a good night's sleep because tomorrow all my grandbabies will be here and we're gonna have a ball I can't let them outside. That's what's hard about it because I can't really let them outside except we do go feed the chickens and we gather the eggs. But as long as they're working on the roof, I won't let them go outside because stuff is flying off that roof and I don't need them to get hit with anything. So we just stay in the house and play inside. Listen to music. We dance in the kitchen. We have a ball. I have a ball ball with my grandbabies and I'm sure most of you if you could see how I was with my grandkids how we are you probably think that I was nuts because <laughs> I'll dance with them I play hide and seek with them I'm down on my hands and knees chasing them but you know what they're what makes me go around so I love them anyway you all have a wonderful night and Stay safe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.